If West does not step up, Putin's war machine will continue to grow stronger. Wall Street Journal. Russia's military superiority over Ukraine will continue to grow if Western countries do not quickly step up, the Wall Street Journal writes, citing an intelligence official. Moscow's invasion of Ukraine has suddenly made Europe aware of the need to maintain large, capable armies. European intelligence officials say Russia is preparing for conflict with NATO within the next decade and aims to have a standing army of 1.5 million by the end of 2026. The publication says it is indicated that Putin previously called warnings about a potential Russian attack on NATO member countries complete nonsense. However, in early 2022, the Kremlin used similar language to ridicule American warnings that Russia was planning to invade Ukraine. The Wall Street Journal recalls that German Defense Minister Boris Pistorius warned that Europe must prepare for a possible war with Russia by the end of the decade. He also called the abolition of conscription in Germany in 2011 a mistake, adding that it should be reintroduced. Sweden, with the exception of a short break in the 2010s, has relied on conscription to fill its army for more than a century. This year, of the approximately 100,000 young Swedes expected to enlist, only 6,200 completed conscription, meaning the annual increase was just over 10%. The country aims to recruit 8,000 conscripts next year and 10,000 shortly thereafter. Selection is based on physical and mental fitness, IQ tests and motivation to serve. The article notes, it is reported that draft evasion in Sweden is punishable by a fine or imprisonment for up to a year. Let's remember that Business Insider previously concluded that Russia, it seems, after two years of large-scale invasion, has begun to take war seriously. They pointed out that Putin's war machine looks very different today than it did at the start of the conflict. The Russian defense industrial base is running at full capacity and Putin recently appointed an economist as his defense minister to stimulate mass production of weapons. Last summer, Moscow stopped the counter-offensive of Ukraine with a strong defense while rebuilding supplies and transitioning to a wartime economy. In Iranian Tabriz farewell ceremonies begin for the late Iranian President Ebrahim Raisi following his death in a helicopter crash, as authorities probe what caused the aircraft to smash into the side of a remote mountainside during foggy weather on Sunday morning. Recall, Raisi's death alongside other high-ranking officials, including the country's foreign minister, has left the Islamic Republic's hardline establishment facing an uncertain future as it navigates rising regional tensions and domestic discontent. Several thousand people take part in the ceremony. As can be seen in the footage, the vast majority are dressed in mourning colors. It is noted that the funeral will take place in other cities of Iran. The coffins with the bodies of the victims will be sent to Tehran for funeral prayers in the capital's mosque. Razi will be buried in his hometown of Mashhad. Razi died on May 19 in a helicopter crash. Iranian Foreign Minister Hossein Amir Abdelayan and other officials were also on board, all of them also died. Reuters, citing a source in the country's government, noted that the aircraft was completely burned out. Large ceremonies are planned in Tehran's enormous Grand Mosala Mosque on Wednesday. The loss of Razi, a conservative hardliner and protege Ayatollah Khamenei, is expected to sow further uncertainty in a country already buckling under significant economic and political strain, with tensions with nearby Israel at a dangerous high. His death triggered both domestic and international reactions with several of Iran's autocratic partners sending both condolences and effusive praise.